this episode, we will highlight the latest in orthopedics. Have you suffered from a foot injury? Well, join us as we explore your options in 2017. Hi there, everyone. Welcome to The Dose. And of course, here we offer news that keeps you informed in your community, putting the spotlight on your health. And I'm so excited right now to be sitting with the one and only Dr. Gary Stewart with Resurgence Orthopedics. Please and of course, this organization has a great name in the community. And I just heard that you're actually considered the largest orthopedic surgeon group in the state of Georgia and second in the nation. Wow, that's a pretty, pretty big distinction. But I think we're mostly proud of the medical care that we provide. I mean, being biggest doesn't always mean the best, so we have to always kind of always strive to give the best for our patients. So. But being a large organization, sir, certainly means that you're able to offer options that others can't. So explain some of the options and opportunities here for health that you have. Well, being so big, you know, we're kind of a one-stop shop. Okay. I mean, you come here, you'll see the physician, you have physical therapy in-house. If you need something like an air cast boot or okay. a brace, you get that done here as well as a cast. Yes. Um, we also have a surgical centers as well. So anything you need from physical therapy to boot brace, seeing a doctor, nurse practitioners, it's all in house here. Now what does it mean for you personally and professionally to be a part of such a group that has such a great reputation? Well, I think that's number one. I mean, we try to tr strive not just to be your doctor, but we also live here in the community. Oh wow. I mean, I see a lot of my patients in the Walmart and the Target. Oh. Um, I see people when I'm coaching flag football yes. and in Cub Scouts locally, so you know we pride ourselves on not just being a name, but being okay. one of your neighbors. And so many patients say, well, I've heard of a friend that had a surgical procedure, didn't mm -hmm. go well. How important is it for those watching us right now to understand that every patient is different and there are different options you can offer them, right? Well, exactly. You know, our number one uh, deterrent, our number one friend can be they, or someone said, they said you're very good, <laughs> or they said it didn't happen this way, or I know someone who they said that <laughs> you, I didn't need a boot or I needed surgery. And so it's really important just to kind of make sure that we have our name out there, that we're good. Okay. And I think word of mouth is how you get, you know, you feel most comfortable when you see, you know, someone from your church or yes. someone from your, your book club says that doctor is pretty good, then you feel more confident than if you see it on a commercial or you hear us say we're the best, you know, it's good to hear a neighbor say it. So when people hear the word or the phrase orthopedic surgeon, they're thinking, well, automatically surgery, but I know you shared with me previously, doctor, that doesn't mean that everyone's a candidate and there are other opportunities or other options available. Now, the overwhelming majority of the care we provide yes. is not operative. Okay. Uh, if you break your ankle, it doesn't always mean you're going to need a plate or screws. Okay. You sprain your ankle, a lot of times it's just physical therapy, anti-inflammatories, you know, rice, rest, ice, compression, elevation. So don't be afraid to come thinking we're just going to operate on you, you okay. know. We pride ourselves in just providing the overall care. We're back here with Dr. Stewart again, talking about the foot, in particular the ankle. Mm -hmm. Now, it's so important to have our health, every part of our body, mm -hmm. but now we can actually cause injury to this area? Explain. Absolutely, no one worries about their feet until they actually injure their feet. True. And so, quite commonly, you'll have an ankle sprain. And so, the ankle is made up of three bones, your tibia, your fibula, and your talus. And what happens often is we'll have an inversion type injury, and that's your simple ankle sprain. 10,000 wow. of those happen almost every day. Oh so, my. Um, that's the most common thing we see and it's very common just to, to brace it or to put a little cast on it for a short time and do physical see. therapy and be fine. But you can hurt your foot and if you don't take care of it properly long term you yes. can end up with arthritis. Oh my. And arthritis is so common. Millions mm -hmm. of Americans and actually I know over the age of 40 is actually more possible for more to get it. Is there anything we should specifically be concerned about so we're not causing more fractures or injury? Absolutely. If you do have an injury you need to make sure you do some type of physical therapy okay. and that you have a period of immobilization. Um, but if you happen to not have done that and you had a bad injury at uh -oh. some point and you end up with arthritis, keep your weight down low. If you're going to exercise, limit running, jumping or jogging, more like swimming, low impact activities and you'll yes. do fine. Certainly be smart. Now I know you mentioned the option of physical therapy, mm -hmm. but perhaps when physical therapy is not working, sometimes they need surgery. Mm -hmm. Explain the procedure. Well, if you have torn your 
torn your ligaments to your ankle, I'll, make a, I'll do a scope, which is we put a small camera in your ankle and we'll clean up any of the inflammatory tissue. And then I will take a ligament that goes from here to here and here to here and we'll reconstruct it. Uh -huh. And that's quite common something. It's one of my most frequent procedures and it's very successful. You just have to see someone to get it taken care of. Okay. Often you'll end up with an ankle fracture though, however, where the bone breaks. And sometimes people say, is it a fracture or is it a break? Yes. To us, it means the same thing. The okay. bone is not in continuity. It is not stable. And sometimes I need to go in there with a plate and screws and fix it up. And uh, that's one of my more common procedures. But you think about the ankle, but we quite commonly forget about the foot. Absolutely. You end up with things called bunions with these uh, high heels yes. now that are now, <laughs> you know, to a short guy like me, you know, I mean, I like the high heels, but maybe if we can go back to one or two inches okay. instead of the six inches, that would help me out a lot. <laughs> but um, it ends up giving you injuries to your forefoot. You'll end up with a bunion or hammer toes in which oh, wow. we have to uh, treat those surgically too. I see. Now I have to ask this question, you know, someone's watching us right now, McDonough saying, what's the recovery time, Dr. Stewart? Because I've got to get back to perhaps uh, the heels again or mm -hmm. running and walking. Well, everything depends on each patient. Okay. You know, I like to say, well, the reason why I like foot and ankle and I like what I do, because people are always like, ooh, stinky feet. Well, you know, <laughs> I'm a physician, so we can take care of things. But, you know, it's because it has a wide array of things to do. Yes. You never get bored. And so each person is different. Uh, if you're younger, it tends to be a little faster. Okay. Uh, but for an ankle fracture, if we fix it with a plate and screws, I usually have you weight bearing in a boot in about six weeks. But that weight bearing doesn't mean it's time to do that uh, Peachtree Road Race. Okay. You have some physical therapy to do. You have to wean into a shoe. And you just have to take your time. And so it's really age related, unfortunately, or activity related, or your general health. Let's talk about the total ankle replacement procedure. So I had alluded to earlier that, you know, when you don't get an ankle fixed or taken yes. care of, you can get arthritis. And okay. so one of our only treatments early on was just to fuse the bone, which would make you have a stiff ankle. Oh, wow. But just like you hear about a total shoulder, a total knee, yes. total hip, we developed some technology where you can put metal and plastic into the ankle and it can function and allow you to walk, wow. dance, and do certain activities. It's best for those over 50, okay. best with those with a low uh, body mass index, yes. and those that don't plan on running and jumping. This doesn't take running and jumping too well. So this is something that we're doing here in McDonough. I'm one wow. of the people that did the first one in this area. So this is something we do. and. Uh, uh, it's an option for those with arthritis. Wow, and very innovative. Mm -hmm. It is. And so I would like to just show some basic things in the foot and ankle. So okay. we, have, um, we have Denise here, and she is an athlete and has been running and jumping, and she's through the hammer. And so her ankles, she's had multiple injuries, but overall, I just wanted to point out that you got to make sure you have a complete range of motion okay. of the ankle. We want to make sure that the ankle is stable. Yes. We check our pulses. If she's got great skin, her skin is intact, okay. and you want to make sure that you can detect a sensation to her foot. Yes. She has all of those things, and that is a general foot exam to check your pulses, sensation, skin's intact, stability, range of motion, and strength. Wow, but you said something important at the top of this segment. You have to see an expert first all right. to know what your options are. Well, yes, you do, and the one thing I would say, I'm an orthopedic surgeon first. You yes. know, I do take care of every part of the body, Absolutely. Um, but my specialty is foot and ankle, and so um, if you do all the years after school, after high school, I spent about 15 years of extra training to get oh, to wow. this point. And so it was college, medical school, and then orthopedic surgical residency, which is five years. And then I, although you learn about the foot and ankle in okay. residency, I spent an extra year just to learn about this. So wow. it's one of those things that, you know, it's my passion. I enjoy it. Yes, and it certainly shows, and you're in good hands. Thank you for watching The Dose.